welcome back in our previous video we made this network and wrote down these durations now let us find out slacks and floats for this given network what is the procedure that we follow first you need to find out all possible paths from first event to last event from starting of project to end of project how many paths are there a b e g look again a b e g very well i have a path a b e g can i have duration for this path 7 4 11 11 and 7 18 18 and 6 24 very well then there is a path a c dummy of c e and g a c dummy of c e and g so when we come across a dummy we actually do not mention it so i'll call it a c and this is nothing but an extension of c so we'll call it a c e g what can i write over here a c e and g what is the duration 7 5 12 12 and what are the durations of these dummies that we have created 0 7 5 12 12 and 0 0 sorry 12 and 0 12 12 and 7 19 19 and 6 25 let us check once again 12 25 fine then we have another path a c this dummy takes me over here f and g a c f g what will be the duration for it 7 5 12 12 and 5 17 17 and 6 23 so what is the path it is a c f g durations are 7 and 5 12 12 and 5 17 and 6 23 then there is this last path a d f g can we have duration for that a d f g 7 and 6 13 13 and 5 18 and 6 24 let me check once again if there are any paths that i've skipped 1 2 3 4 i've covered all the paths so no worries i've taken care of all paths now which one is the critical in over here this is the critical one so what do we do with that first thing is that we need to represent it by double lines what is it ACEG we have A C then EG E and G then also if you wish you can make this also double dashed so ACEG now what was our next step it was that we'll make a forward pass and a backward pass on all possible paths but we will follow a priority starting with the longest one first so first I'll go on this path then I can take any of these 24 I could go with this or I could go with this and in last I will go with this sorry if we are going with second let us call this third and let us put a four over here. in this sequence we'll travel on forward and backward passes fine so let us start our journey how do we go first path would be a c e g a c e n g if i start at 0 0 plus 7 would give me a 7 7 plus 5 would give me a 12 12 plus 0 would give me a 12 12 plus 7 would give me a 19 19 and 6 gives me a 25 this is a forward pass on our critical path this path so as for backward pass critical durations are final we need to start our backward journey by subtracting 25 minus 6 19 19 minus 7 
12 12 minus 0 12 12 minus 5 7 7 minus 7 0 we are done with a forward pass and a backward pass on this path next in our list was a b e g a b e g remember two steps sorry two notes what are those during forward pass we take larger value and during backward pass we take smaller value remember these rules fine so if ever there is a controversy we'll go with these rules during forward pass a b e g if I start with 0, 0 and 7 is 7, 7 and 4 gives me 11, but I'll put a 12 over here as this is the larger value, fine, so 0 plus 7, 7, 7 plus 4, 11, but I'll not put 11 over here, rather I'll put a 12, I'll continue with this 12, fine, 12 and 7, 19, 19 and 6, 25, done with forward pass, immediately start the backward pass, 25, 25 minus 6 is 19, 19 minus 7 is 12, 12 minus 4 is 8. Now again we have a controversy. Should I put an 8 or 7? But in the backward pass we have a rule that we put the smaller value. So 25 minus 6 is 19, 19 minus 7 is 12, 12 minus 4 is 8. But I will not put an 8, rather I will continue with the existing 7. Because it is a smaller value in 7 and 8. So 12 minus 4 is 8, but I will continue with 7. Last is 7 minus 7 is 0. Done with forward and backward pass. Now what do we have? A, D, F, G. A, B, F, G. Let us start. 0 plus 7 is 7. 7 plus 6 is 13. 13 plus 5 is 18. Do I put an 18 or continue with 19? Exactly, we will continue with 19. Because 18 is a smaller value. So we have 19, 19 and 6 is 25. Done with forward pass. Let us jump to the backward pass. 25, 25 minus 6, 19, 19 minus 5, 14, 14 minus 6, 8. Do I put an 8 or 7? Continue with 7? Yes, I'll continue with 7. I'll not touch it. So 7 minus 7 will give me a 0. Done with ADFG. Last one is ACFG. I believe we went for this one. In any case, ACFG. 0 plus 7, 7. 7 and 5, 12. 12 and 0 is 12. But in forward pass, we'll pick the larger value. 13 plus 5 is 18. We'll go continue with the larger value. 19 plus 6 is 25. 25 minus 6, 19. 19 minus 5, 14. 14 minus 0. 14, but I'll continue with this 12. 12 minus 5 is 7. All paths have been taken care of. Now what do we do? We prepare the table for finding out slacks and floats. So here is our table for finding out all slacks and floats. How many activities do we have? A, B, C, D, E, F and G. So let us put them over here. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. These are the activities. A. What is the scenario for A? We'll check A in detail, then we'll do the others quickly. This was the scenario for A. Where is A's head? A's head is lying over here. Do we have a float? Oh, sorry. Slack, yes, we have a slack which is 7 minus 7, 0. Where is A's tail? Tail is lying over here. Do we have a slack over here? Yes, we have 0 minus 0. What is slack? Difference of these two. Difference of these two would make a tail slack. Difference of these two would make a head slack. So what is a tail slack? Again, 0. What about... The floats for A, let us remove this and then we'll again write these values. 
so that we can understand it clearly. Fine. What were the timings? It, those were seven. So, sorry. Those were zero zero. And seven seven. So what is the total flow? Total flow is this time. Minus this time. Minus this time. What is it that? Latest finish time minus earliest start time minus duration. Fine. So what do we have? Total flow for A. It is 7 minus 0 minus it is 0. What is free float? Free float is total float minus head slag. Exactly the two values that we already have will give us our free float. Is that it? What is free float? Free float is equal to total float minus head slag. Total float is 0, head slag is 0. So we get 0 minus 0. Fine. And then what about the last one, which is independent float? What is that? Free float minus tail slag. Free float is 0, tail slag is 0, 0 minus 0 would give me a 0. So these are our formula. This is how we go about it. Now let us make it fast. B, head is here, 12 minus 12. 0. B, tail is here. 7 minus 7. 0. What about total float? 12 minus 12 minus 7 minus 4. 12 minus 7 is 5. 5 minus 4 is 1. So, what will be the total float for B? It will be it will be 12 minus 7 minus 4, giving me a 1. And what about free floats? Total minus head. What about independent? Free minus tail. What about C? C's head is over here. 12 minus 12 would give me a 0. Tail is here. 7 minus 7 would again give me a 0. Total float. 12 minus 7. It is 5. 5 minus 5 is? 0 to 12 minus 7 minus 5 giving me a 0 total minus add 0 minus 0 independent is free minus tail that is 0 minus 0 let us take d d add is over here do we have a slack yes we do 14 minus 13 is 1 we have a slack of 1 then where is d's tail here it is 7 minus 7 no tail slack. What about total float? 14 minus 7 minus 6. So it is 14 minus 13 giving me a 1. Then free is total minus add 1 minus 1, 0. Independent is free minus tail 0 minus 0, 0. What about E? E's head is over here. 19 minus 19 giving me a 0. E's tail is over here, 12 minus 12, giving me a 0. E's float would be, total float would be 19 minus 12, 7, 7 minus 7, 0. What about free? 0 minus 0. What about independent? Free minus tail, 0 minus 0. Then we have F. What is the head slack for F? Head is over here, 19 minus 19, giving me a 0. Tail slack for F would be 14 minus 13, that is 1. What about total float? 19 minus 13, that is 6 minus 5, that is 1. What about free float? It will be total minus at 1 minus 0 is 1. What about independent? 3 minus tail, there is 1, minus 1, 0. And what about G? Head slack is 0, 25 minus 25, tail is also 0. What about total float? 25 
minus 19 giving us 6, 6 minus 6, 0. 25 minus 19 minus 6 is 0. So everything for G turns out to be 0. What about free? 0 minus 0, 0 minus 0. That is it. Here are all the slacks and floats for the given network. Now, once again let us check if all the critical activities are having all slacks and floats as 0. What are the critical activities? We have AC, EG, AC, EG. Let us check them. A, C, E, G. They still are all 0. There is the special thing about critical activities that they do not have any kind of leverage. Neither for slack nor for float. So, this can act as a very good check that all your critical activities should have all values as zeros. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.